and I decided to pack it in and return to the Blue Ridge. I took this job at Indyville Elementary School. Sarah and I married and moved into a small house off Gillum Road, dead in the view of Bear Willow Mountain. Um, and the book sort of picks up there when I moved back home, taking a job teaching elementary school at the elementary school that I attended, which is totally bizarre because all of my teachers were still working there. Um, and, and they expected me to call them by their first names now. And, and supposedly were going to allow me into the teacher's lounge, though I was often too scared to go in there. Um, so we, I took a job teaching elementary school. We moved back to um, sort of a house above the creek where my, my family settled about 200 years ago and tried to like figure out how I was from this place that I had moved away from. Um, and one of the things I did was buy a banjo. That felt like the most <laughs> Appalachian thing somebody could do. So I bought a banjo as a way to sort of reconnect. Um, what was a little disconcerting about that is that I, the old songs that I learned, I play old time banjo, kind of claw hammer style banjo, is that a lot of those songs are about drinking and killing. So I was imagining there's sort of like some reflexivity that I could look at the banjo and see myself. And that was a little uh, bothersome. To that. <laughs> drinking and killing identified me with this place. And so I thought I'd play a couple of those songs. Um, we'll start with a killing song. There is a long, a long tradition of murder ballads in Appalachian music that you may know. I chose this one because it has uh, Jones in the title, but I'm pretty sure he's not related. It's called Wild Bill Jones. Wild Bill Jones. 